guys and goddesses, welcome back to my channel The Tarative and thank you for stopping by. So I'm really excited to be sitting down and filming this video today. It's been absolutely months since I've managed to film anything. Since Laura's been three slash four weeks old, she's been a very active baby who doesn't really like to sleep much at all during the day and when she does nap, it's when we're out and about. So as you'll be able to tell from the title and the thumbnail of this video, this video is a try and haul. Dress Lily very kindly let me choose some outfits from their website in return for doing a try on video. So since it is spring and let's face it summer is just around the corner I thought now would be the perfect opportunity to try on cocktail dresses or occasion wear. So everything I've chosen are cocktail dresses slash occasion wear perfect for spring or summer. To be honest from what I've chosen you could actually wear them all year round just in the colder months you might have to add a few layers on top. So without further ado let's just hop straight into the video. As I mentioned, all the dresses are from Dress Lily and I'm really excited to start trying them on in just a moment. They have also very kindly given me a coupon code to share with you that will get you a massive 20% off at checkout. So I'll be putting that on the screen and in the description box down below. I will also be leaving a link to their website down below and all the dresses that I'll be trying on. Again, I'll be leaving all the links for those as well. So let's just get straight into opening it up. So I've got all the parcels next to me, or all the little individual bags. They've come in bags that came in one big parcel and I have to say actually delivery was quite quick depending on where you are in the world will depend on how quickly or how slowly things get delivered to you and of course custom and excise charges may apply so the first dress which I have chosen is in this little bag actually it's not so little it's actually quite a big bag and it is called actually I haven't put the it doesn't have the name of the dress on here but what I'll do as I said is I'll be leaving links in the description box down below in the order which I'm trying things on and I got this in a large. Now on their website it's actually quite good, they do have different sizes but where a size might differ from their usual size guide they will tell you in inches the bust, the waist, the hips or the shoulders depending on what style of outfit it is, whether it's trousers, whether it's tops, if it's quite a tight fitting one at the top then generally they'll give you the bust measurement and the waist measurement so I basically just measured myself and used that as a guide. Where I was unsure of which size to get I've actually gone for a larger size rather than the smaller size so I've erred on the side of caution because it's easier to alter a larger dress to make it fit than a smaller dress. Now I can't expect everything will fit perfectly, hopefully though they will still all be wearable. So this first one I absolutely loved on their website, it's just a lovely black and white spring slash summer dress. So as you'll be able to see it's quite off the shoulder and this material is quite like a t-shirt material but quite a nice thick t-shirt material so if it does get a little bit windy during summer events or spring events then actually I think this should still keep you relatively nice and warm without overheating. So far actually I have to say I'm really surprised at the quality. You never know when you're ordering online what you're actually going to get in the post but from the pictures that I've seen online this really does match up to to the expectation it's absolutely fantastic in fact I think it surpasses expectation so it's got long sleeves as I said it's off the shoulder it has a very handy zip down the middle at the back which looks like it goes actually it goes quite far down so it should be quite easy to go into now when it comes into the skirt it's more of like a white slash cream now it is a little bit creased but that's because it's being folded up in a bag but I will be trying everything on pretty much straight away so I don't have a chance to iron it but obviously if you were going to invent just iron things beforehand and it will iron out all the creases and I love this absolutely gorgeous lace at the bottom it's a very nice applique style flower lace and I think it's absolutely gorgeous everything seems to be really well made I have to say everything's stitched on really well there's no loose threads from what I can really see Yes, absolutely lovely. Now the skirt, it's not t-shirt material, it's slightly thicker material. I don't know what it's called, but it, it kind of reminds me of like that foamy material. Now it isn't foam, but I just mean it, it sort of feels like that. So again, it's a little bit on the thicker side, which to be honest is not bad at all, especially with having a white, a white skirt. You don't want to be able to see your underwear underneath, so I think this should hopefully hide underwear, even if you are wearing dark underwear, which I am today, so we'll put that to the test. So that's the first one, which I absolutely love so far. I'm just hoping that it fits. 
So I've just hopped into the first dress. Actually, it was really nice and easy to get on, which is also one of those things with a lovely occasion where sometimes it can be quite a hassle to squeeze into it. But this dress is super duper easy to get into. I didn't even need to undo the zip at the back, which is great because now I don't have to struggle with the zip at the back. Even though I did actually try it once on, it's not too hard to get it up and down. And of course, someone can help you into it if you need to. But this dress is absolutely lovely. I have to say, I've definitely noticed that the top is quite stretchy, which is really, really good it is quite forgiving so if you're not sure which size to get if you get something that is too tight fitting and isn't much give you know it's really disappointing whereas this actually is quite stretchy so I think probably it could go in between a couple of sizes for people so this is what it looks like as I reach back I have to say I absolutely love it now I've pulled it quite high at the top just as I was there now it is off the shoulder and it is a full length sleeve now it is quite high waisted so my waist is actually where my hands are now so basically for me it comes about an inch below my bust area before it starts flaring out but I think especially on camera it looks really really flattering now because this is quite stretchy material it's not as tight as it could be around this area however because the skirt is so full I still think this is very very flattering indeed I love the contrast with the top to the white and then the black applique lace at the bottom I think it's absolutely gorgeous I think this is so so flattering you can't really see too much on camera but obviously there are still creases in this but even with the creases it still looks absolutely lovely now what they've done here is they've almost made it pleated so it's not just flat and straight which adds more body to the skirt so it is definitely fuller and I just think it looks really really nice now the back you can see is a little bit more creased as I mentioned I'm wearing dark underwear now with this white this white bottom you can't see my underwear I don't think at all I don't think I can see it in in reality and I don't think it shows up on camera either so because it is a thicker skirt at the bottom it's great you don't have to worry about your underwear showing through so yeah I, I really really love this one I think this is lovely now I don't know if you can see but this comes up just above my knees so it's quite a nice not too long not too short it's quite modest it shows a little bit of shoulder it shows a little bit of leg but it's nothing you have to worry about going around and shuffling down as the day goes on so i think this is absolutely lovely i definitely definitely would get this again if i hadn't have got it already i think this is fantastic i would give this dress a 10 out of 10. The second dress which I've chosen is a little bit more on the sexy side. I thought it would be quite nice to try on a few different styles of dresses. So where the previous one was quite loose and a little bit more A-line and a little bit fuller in the skirt, this one is the opposite in the fact that it will be quite tight fitting or at least from the pictures online that's what it looks like. And yes, it does look really, really nice. Again, it looks just like the picture showed online, which is fantastic. Now it does have a halter style neck neckline to it and it's got this lovely ribbon sash which actually I think adds to it being a little bit a little bit sexy you can tie a lovely bow at the back of the neck so hopefully the back will look just as nice as the front now I really really like the top half of this and that's really why I chose it I really liked this black detail that sort of separates the bust and the waist I think that it will hopefully accentuate everything really really nicely now to be honest I haven't tried on anything really too tight fitting since I've given birth my body's being changing obviously when you're nine months pregnant your body is a lot different from when you were not nine months pregnant so there has been a lot of shrinking going on and there's lots of different shapes going on with my body so I'm hoping that this will look really nice because it is on the tight fitting side we'll just have to see if it is quite flattering or if it shows all those lumps and bumps which I do have <laughs> so underneath the lace as you'll be able to see it's pretty much all lace it's white lace again sort of a flowery and leafy design and then it's got the black black thread to accentuate the pattern of the lace which I think is absolutely lovely now underneath the lace there is a layer of fabric it's a peachy colored fabric so I think you'll have to wear the lighter underwear with this so the underwear that I'm wearing at the moment probably will show through we'll just have to see if it does or doesn't and then at the bottom it's got quite a fishtail design really it's a little bit shorter with the lace at the front and then as it goes to the back it gets a little bit longer which again can be really really flattering so I'm really looking forward to trying this on so 
yes, let's see how it fits. So this is what it looks like on. I have to say, I absolutely love this dress. The top half is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it's got the halter neck, it's got the black almost, it's sort of like lace. I don't really know what you would call it. I guess it's sort of like a crochet lace, but I think this is really, really nice. Now it does have the ribbon at the back. I haven't tied it very well. This is quite a low backless dress. So I'll show you that in just a minute. I am kneeling just so you can see the top half of the dress because as I stand up, it's a little bit hard to see, but I just wanted to show the detail. This is really, really nice. In fact, for me perfectly, this line here sits just on the top of my bust really, really nicely. And then it's got this down. And then as I get up, you'll be able to see it accentuates my waist quite nicely. Now I would say it's a little bit, I'd probably say I've got about half an inch to an inch here where it could be a little bit tighter, but I'd much rather have a little bit of room, especially because when you go out, you generally eat. You wanna have that little bit of growth room. <laughs> so that's not a bad thing whatsoever. I still think because of the, the black detailing here, it still looks really nice and sexy. Now I do have to apologize because obviously you'll be able to see my underwear underneath this. I am wearing a black underwear, which is definitely not the right color for this dress, as it is quite a tight fitting dress and it's light colored. Darker underwear will definitely show through it, so 100% before you go out and wear this dress get some skin colored your skin colored underwear because otherwise you'll have this going on which kind of ruins the effect of the dress now as you can see it is tight fitting now even though it is tight fitting I don't think it really looks too lumpy and bumpy now because you can see my underwear you can clearly see the line between my hips and my bottom half and all that but if it weren't for that I think that actually it would look really really nice it's got just the perfect fit it's quite nice and tight around the bottom half and the the darker material so the the opaque material I would say is about mid thigh so again it doesn't show anything you can walk around quite comfortably in this without having to worry about it wriggling up I think I think it looks really really nice and then it's got this lovely fish sort of tail to it now I don't know if you can see but as I get up the lace is really nice and flattering now for me the lace goes down to about just below the back of my knee, but the front lace ends again just at the top of my knee. So from the front, it's quite a similar length to the first dress, but from the back, it's definitely a little bit longer, which I really, really like. And oh, I just love the top half of this dress. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now from the back, you'll be able to see it's quite a low back. So probably you would either want to go braless with this dress or get one of those bras that are backless because otherwise again you'll be able to see your bra from that which again it's up to you if you're comfortable with that or not to be fair from the front it kind of looks like these straps are meant to be there so you could probably make that work for you if you are wearing a black bra and even though i'm wearing a black bra the black doesn't show through as much as the under part does so Yes, definitely, if you're getting this dress, wear light underwear. But I think I would actually give this a good 9 out of 10. It does fit rather well. I'm glad I chose the size that I did. Even though it does have a little bit of give at the back and here, that's not a bad thing. Again, I think I can pull it off and it's definitely wearable out. So I'm really, really pleased with this dress. The third dress that I've chosen has a different colour scheme to it. It is this lovely red. I have to say, I absolutely love deep reds. Now, this is a wine red. At least I think that's what they called it online. Yeah, it does say wine red, and I got this in an extra large. This came in a cellophane bag. So, as I'm undoing this, again, it looks really lovely. Because it has been in a cellophane bag and it has been folded up, the bottom of the skirt is quite creased. Now, this is quite similar in style to the first dress in the fact that it is off the shoulder. This time though it is a three quarter length sleeve and it is lace for the top part. So for the bust and the arms it is lace. Now the arms has see-through lace so there's no other material underneath that to hide your flesh. But when it comes to the bust to the waist there is a layer of fabric to hide your <laughs> sensitive area. So that's really, really nice. I actually really like the fact that the top couple of inches though of the top, again, is see-through lace. So I think that will look really, really flattering. Now, this one has an A-line skirt. So if I show it from that side, again, it's quite creased, but basically it's got almost like a belted bit. So that will hopefully accentuate the waist and make it look a little bit slimmer. Also as well, there's a little bit 
of stretch to this fabric not much I'd say the top half is stretchier than the bottom half that will be quite good on top it gives you a little bit of leeway and then it just comes out in this nice flare so I really really like this and to be honest actually I picked this one because I thought you don't necessarily have to have a special occasion to wear this to I think this could just be a really nice dress if it's sunny and it's warm out I think you could probably dress this down and just still look really really nice without it being too over the top but then again I think you can also wear it for an occasion and it would dress up really really nicely so really looking forward to trying this one on so again, up close and personal to the camera, I just wanted to show you the top half of the dress before showing you the rest of the dress. Now this dress fits 100% perfectly. 10 out of 10 for the fit. This fits my body really, really well. Definitely no alterations needed. I did need to undo the zip to get into it, but this zip is really, really great. They've got a zip from just under the armpit, so it's on the left-hand side, and it goes down to the hip. It's very, very discreet. It's always such a shame when you get a lovely dress, but it has such a bulky zip that it just ruins the effect of the dress. This one is so discreet, you wouldn't really even know that it's there. So, oh, I'm just in love with this dress. I think this is my favorite so far. It just fits so well, it looks lovely. Now this, like with the first one, the top half, has a little bit of stretch to the dress and because of that the sort of curved edging to the lace just sits absolutely perfectly on my top half of my body even the back it doesn't flip over it's absolutely because sometimes when it's a bit baggy it sort of does that it flips over there's nothing worse really than having lovely lace detailing when it just sits and flops down so definitely think the stretch in this top half of the dress makes that sit really really nicely I love the fact that it's see-through lace three-quarter length sleeve which sometimes can be flattering and sometimes it isn't but I think this one's really really nice because it is off the shoulder it gives you a nice lovely open top and it doesn't make your arms look too short or chunky where it finishes it finishes sort of just below the elbow it's really nice and flattering I love the fact that this is the see-through lace but then from here downwards it it's got a lining to it, which is great, so it doesn't show your bra through it. Um, obviously, you would probably need to wear something strapless with this, but again, I'm just wearing the same underwear for all the dresses. Now, as I get up, you'll be able to see that that belt really accentuates the waist really nicely. And then because this is an A-line skirt, it just skims off my hips really, really nicely. So because it isn't tight, it doesn't just sit down. It's got a really lovely flare to it. Now it is creased, obviously with ironing, it will look even better. So definitely this dress would need to be ironed before you wear it. The top half doesn't show any creases whatsoever, but the bottom half does. I just absolutely love this color. Again, a really nice length. It sits just on my knee line which I think is fantastic. Sorry, I have to step on tiptoes to show it in the camera. But again, sits right on the knee, which is really, really nice. It's just got such a lovely line to it. I think if you're someone who either has larger hips or is a little bit worried about the bottom half of their body, this is so flattering because it's got a tighter fit to the top and then it just skims out. It gives you such a lovely line. It makes, it makes your waist look even smaller than it is. So that is fantastic. I'm just absolutely in love with this dress so definitely a 10 out of 10. Now the last two dresses that I decided to get are both similar in colour. The first one is this lovely midnight blue and this one is full lace so I've gone with one that is again off the shoulder but actually it's really, really nice and flattering. Let me just show you. It's meant to be off the shoulder. Hopefully when I try it on, you'll be able to see a little bit better. Because it is dark, it's hard to see the detail in this. Let me just put it up there. There we go. So as you'll be able to see, this is full lace. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the pattern. Again, it's quite a floral pattern. I would say that this is actually a little bit closer together lace than the other one. And underneath the lace, there is... I don't know if you can see, a layer of material. So this whole dress basically won't show any skin underneath the lace as it is all lined underneath. There is about, I'd say, four inches at the bottom just here that is see-through lace, which I think will look quite nice having a little bit of your leg underneath the lace show. But I quite like the fact that this is just all one solid colour but it's all lace. Again, even though this was tightly packed because it is lace, it doesn't crease which is absolutely fantastic. So I think that if you are ordering a lace dress from their website, you can pretty much just pull it straight out the package. You won't be able to see any creases. So again, really, really excited to try this on. 
Blue is my favourite colour and I think it can look quite flattering on me as well as the wine red. So yes, let's try this on and see what it looks like. Oh, I love this dress so much, but this is the first dress that is unfortunately just too big. I should have got a large, not an extra large. As I mentioned when I was ordering, if I wasn't sure which size to get, I got the larger of the two sizes, and that was definitely the wrong option. Unlike with the others, there's no stretchiness to this dress. It is pretty much just how it is. It's not going to get any, as you can see, it really not really much give whatsoever if it had been stretchy material then maybe it would be a little bit tighter fitting and I could probably get away with it but unfortunately this just doesn't fit which is such a shame because the dress itself is lovely it's made really well it's such great quality but definitely next time I would definitely order a size down for myself in this dress it's such a shame because as you can see it's got a lovely neckline I have to hold this up because otherwise it's going to flush my boobage even though I am wearing a bra and it's got this lovely crossover detail and the lace is just absolutely gorgeous but because there's no stretch to it it's just I just ordered the wrong size I should have ordered a large and not the extra large now as you can see this is basically how it's meant to fit and that is absolutely gorgeous so I think I could maybe salvage the situation by it's got quite a few darts I don't know if you can see with the but basically it's got a hemline here, hemline down the side and down the back. So I think I could probably make this work by altering it, which I'm hoping I can because look how lovely it is. It's such lovely lace. The lining's really good underneath. You don't have to worry about your underwear showing through. It's a really nice length. So as you'll be able to see as I lift that up, that it comes probably a few inches above my knee line, but then with the lace, you can see a few more inches of lace past the lining which I really really like the zip is down the back again actually really easy to get up and down I really like with all these dresses so far that have zips they're nice and long zips which sometimes when you get a zip and it's just a couple of inches it's like what's the point in that that's not actually helping me get into the dress whatsoever whereas this this is so nice and easy to get into obviously it's a little bit big but if it fit properly I still think it'd be easy if only it would just the size further down silly me but again if if this fits and if i'd got the right the right size then i think this would definitely be a 10 out of 10 but obviously because it's too big i'm going to have to make quite a lot of alterations to it in order for it to fit so because i ordered the wrong size i'd probably give it a 6 or a 7 out of 10 but if this just was the size down i think this would be perfect so it's such a shame, but definitely I would get this dress again just in a size down. I'd get the large, not the extra large, but I still really, really like it. It's just a shame that I ordered a size too big. So this last dress is also midnight blue like the previous one, and again it is full lace. However, rather than it being quite an A-line skirt, it is definitely more tight fitting. It's meant to be more figure hugging but again it's got this really nice ruching on the side i know i'm going really really pale here but it's just so you can see because it is a darker color it's quite hard for the camera to pick up unless the brightness is being turned up so i think this will hopefully look really really good also as well i think that this one will be hopefully quite flattering because it does have the ruching at the front if you are a little bit worried about your stomach if it's one of your problem areas as it were i think that this will actually hide quite a lot and be quite flattering even though it is quite tight fitting now this is also quite nice because there is asymmetry to this dress now normally i'm all about symmetry but actually i think outfits something sometimes gets added to an outfit with it being a bit asymmetrical so i love the fact that this is off the shoulder on one side now it is basically just see-through lace for the top part of the strap so from here upwards it will be see-through and then from your bust downwards again it is lined which i really really like i'm just wondering how this will fit because it is off the shoulder and because this is loose lace i'm not sure how well it's actually going to stay up and i think with this there's not going to be too much room for their sort of being different sizes i think this will have to fit quite well again you could probably alter it if needed but we'll just have to wait and see when trying it on i'm trying to see if there's a if there's a zip oh yeah the zip is on the right hand side here so it's down the side that doesn't have the sleeve so again really really looking forward to trying this one on 
So this dress is quite a similar colour to the previous dress, however I'd say this one's a little bit darker. So even though it's still called Midnight Blue, I'd definitely say this is a darker Midnight Blue than the previous one. The previous one is probably more similar to a Royal Blue, just a little bit darker, whereas this is definitely more a darker Deep Navy. It's a little bit big as well, again silly me, it, it works pretty much for the rest of the body but this top half, unlike with the red lace where it fit really really perfectly, it's just a little bit baggy underneath the armpit, so this bit fits nicely across the shoulder and across the back but it's just as it gets to the other side, I think I've got about an inch to an inch and a half that's just gaping a little, so if that were a little bit smaller then this bit would actually be really really nice. Now the the fabric bit is a little bit lower down on this, so again, with bras, you probably will have to get something that's a little bit lower down, because I think when I pull it up, it makes the lace a little bit looser and then it does sag, whereas I think for this dress, if it were just taken in a little bit underneath the armpit, then it'd be great. Again, a really nice zip though, it does go from under the armpit to the hip, so again, really easy to get into. I didn't actually need to undo the zip because it's a very stretchy material. So, a lovely lace, lovely lace dress, now, and it's a little bit hard to see because it doesn't show up because it's quite dark on camera, but it does have this lovely slight like side fishtail effect to it, and it has got a ruching across here with the lace. Again, camera's not really picking that up very well, but it's a little bit looser here, which is quite flattering. And again, I think actually it's not too bad for showing lumps and bumps, especially this side, because it's got that extra lace detailing. It definitely smooths you out quite nicely. And I really, really love the asymmetry. I love the fact that it's off the shoulder here and it's got all the detailing down the left side. I just think it adds a little bit more to the dress than if it was symmetrical. Again, like with the other last few dresses, the lace, the see-through lace basically goes a little bit further down, so that reaches just above my knee, and then if I pull it up, you'll be able to see the lining comes probably a good, what's that, about that much, about six inches or so above my, above my knees, so again, a really nice length, I don't think you'd have to worry about it coming up or down, it fits really nicely, again, because this dress is quite dark, it's hard to see, but it makes my bottom look quite nice and peachy, to be honest. And yeah, I think from the side, it's still quite flattering. It's still quite good, because it is tight fitting, it's probably going to show a little bit more so than the fit and flare dresses, but I think it sits really nicely. I think this is really flattering. Again, as I mentioned, I think it's just this bit that for me doesn't fit that well. If that were to take an in, or what I could probably do actually, it'd probably be easier here, just to add a stitch underneath here. If I add a stitch underneath there, I could get that further over there, and then it sort of sorts out this part. So I would give this dress probably an eight and a half out of 10, because even though I think it fits my body quite well, I just think it's a little bit loose up here. But still, again, I think I can make it work. Definitely not too big like the other dress. This is definitely wearable. I just have to either be a little bit careful on how I wear it, or as I said, I think if I just added a stitch underneath here, then it'd be good. I don't normally wear tight fitting things, and since giving birth, I haven't. So this dress and the second dress, the first time I've really worn anything so form-fitting, and I still think it is actually really flattering, and I feel 100% comfortable in it. I'd definitely be comfortable with going outside to a lovely special event in this. I think it's really nice. I think with this dress, the main feature is off the shoulder and that detailing just around the hip area. I love the asymmetry. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous, but just because it doesn't fit too well underneath here, I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. So that brings us to the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun trying on these dresses. Now, even though not all of them fit absolutely perfectly, because I erred on the side of caution with some of them and got a slightly bigger size and some were slightly bigger fit, it'll be much easier to shrink those down, altering it, than it will be going from a smaller to a larger size. So the one that fit absolutely perfectly and doesn't need any alterations whatsoever is that wine red dress, which I absolutely love. I think it's so, so flattering. So I think that's probably my favorite in the fact that I won't have to do anything to it whatsoever. Let me know in the comments down below which dress was your favourite and they've just got so many dresses on the website I highly recommend going on it. As I mentioned shipping was absolutely great even if it does take up to a month for the price of the dresses I think it's absolutely worth it. I just think they're great great quality. Sometimes when you order from websites you just don't know what it's going to be like if it's going to appear like they did in the pictures and these 100% looked exactly like they did in the 
pictures, which is absolutely great. The quality of the dresses, I just looked at them to the right because that's where I've popped them. They're absolutely fantastic. The lace is lovely and gorgeous. There weren't any loose threads on them. I just think they looked absolutely fantastic. Even if I do have to alter some of them, that's absolutely fine. For the price that you would have had to pay for them, altering it with a little bit of needle and thread, I think is no problem whatsoever. So please let me know, as I mentioned, the favourite dress of yours. If you do have any questions or you just want to comment video suggestions for me in the future, then please let me know down below. If you like this video, then remember to give me a massive thumbs up. And if you aren't already and would like to be, then please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, if you are ordering anything from the Dress Lily website, there is going to be a code which I'll just pop on the screen now and also in the description box down below. If you enter that at the checkout, it will give you a great 20% discount, which is definitely worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. And hopefully I'll be able to film something in the near future. Bye for now.